And now to a neighborhood that is just shocked tonight after unexpected racist graffiti found in a Westland home. Jenny Young joins us live tonight with what she learned from investigators and neighbors about this very crime. Jenny? Liz, Westland police saying that they are taking this very seriously and right now they have several possible leads. We hit the jackpot. Brianne Runyon is talking about her neighborhood, the Robinwood neighborhood. It hugs the Willamette River to the east and is home to the Cedar Oak boat ramp. Boat access is just past that house and so it's, it's like a very walking friendly you walk dogs, people spend a lot of time down there in the summertime. But Runyon says during winter, it's pretty quiet around here and no one was expecting what happened on Wednesday. I looked out my front window and there was a police officer outside. So I came out to see what was going on and the owners of the home were there. And I asked if everything was okay and they said, no, not so much. Runyon lives next door to this house. As you can see from the yellow house wrap and other construction materials, it's still being built. You can't tell from the outside, but police say on the inside, someone used it as a canvas to graffiti racist and anti-police messages. It's my understanding that there is swastikas, um, a reference to a Westland police officer and maybe some pagan or like satanic symbols. Investigators say whoever's behind it was brazen enough to do it in broad daylight around 2.45 in the afternoon. Well, and then I'm right next door and I thought, how did I not notice anything? Runyon told us the couple building the home have lived in this neighborhood for more than 20 years. I was heartbroken. I know the owners and I mean, it's a big deal to you know invest your money and heart into building a new home for your family and then to know that somebody who doesn't belong there was inside and just doing whatever they wanted to. Pretty scary, but also it's very personal. So the Westland Police Department says that they have referred the victims to the Oregon Department of Justice Bias Response Program. They say if you know anything about this, please give the police department a call. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.